I'm the Senior Program Manager at Young Enterprise and this is a short presentation about YE Online. So YE Online is Young Enterprise's dedicated digital platform for the company program and it's filled with resources for centre leads, business advisors and students. I'm going to talk you through the process by which a centre lead registers a company and the juncture at which the business advisor will have access to YE Online and then I'll show you a little bit about uh, what's available on YE Online from a business advisor and centre lead point of view and then also from a student point of view. So what you're looking at in front of you is the registration screen that just the centre lead will see when they're registering a company on YE Online. They'll go through this five step process and on completing that process, they'll get an email with login details for themselves, for the business advisor and for their students. They should email on or pass on the login details to business advisors, which is included in that email. And you can see from the company username there that six digit number is what you'll use as a username initially to log in and then there's also a password that's generated to give you a first time login to YE Online. So you'll input these details at yeonline.y-e.org.uk and you put the company username in the username section and that password that you've been sent into the password section. Now the very first time that you log in using that six digit password which has been randomly generated you'll be asked to create a new password it doesn't matter about the complexity of that password just anything that you'd like to use and from this point onwards once you've put that new password in that will be the password that you'll use to access YE Online. What you can see here is the dashboard that students will see when they log in and in a moment we'll look at the, the landing page for business advisors and centre leads. So uh, what you can see in front of you is what we call our timeline. At the moment there's nothing on it. You can see this is a company that I just generated for this purpose and it's on day zero and it's got a little marker to say where you are and what you can expect to see as you progress along the company program is milestones to be added along this timeline that will provide a really fantastic opportunity to reflect on what's been achieved throughout the full year that you're working with the students. I'll also point out a couple of other things on this dashboard. Uh, the, the home page just brings you back to this dashboard. The My Info page is uh, where you can edit your personal account information. Company information relates to your specific company and contains uh, documents that you can download. It contains your company accounts and all the details of the people within your company. The guidance section is filled with a huge amount of downloadable resources, tips and advice. And then there's a specific section for the competition, which happens after Christmas. So the first thing that I'd recommend that you do when you log in is to head over to the My Info section. And you can see that that's the third point along there on your, your dashboard. And if you click on my info, then it will create a little drop down menu and you'll be able to see my account. And my account is where you can both change your password should you need to do that. But most importantly, I think for this is where you input your email details. Now, this is really critical both for business advisors and for students, but students might need a little extra prompt to go onto my info my account and to add their email address because when a centre lead first registers a company they may not know all the details of the students that are going to be participating in that company program and so that email address may be blank for them and if that's the case we find at Young Enterprise that 
if an email has not been inputted into that My Account area, lots of students will not come onto YE Online after that first occasion. And part of that reason is because by putting in your email address into your account, prompts are sent through to your email to remind you that certain things are going on at certain times on YE Online. You're given reminders about appointments, about messages that are sent on YE Online, and about critical dates that are coming up. So that's really important both for business advisors, center leads, and for students to be prompted to put their email address in that section. Now, the role of the business advisor and center lead is clearly defined. And for business advisors that are starting off on the first occasion, I'd be wondering, uh, where do I start? What exactly, how can I specify what my role is? And what, what should I be doing on those first few meetings that I meet? Now you can find out more about your role by clicking on the home page, which will bring you to a page that looks like this. At the top of the page will be the company or companies that you're working with. Underneath that is a participation record, and I'll talk about that a little bit more later on. And then on the right hand side of the page, you'll see a section that's headed my role. And within that, there, there's lots more details about the individual roles that you can be taking, as well as about the lifespan of the program and what you can expect to happen at key stages. So do click on that home page, have a look on the right hand side and find out about your individual role. Now, when you're meeting with students for the first time, that can be quite a daunting experience. You can find out more about what you can be doing on those first few occasions, about the role of a facilitator, about the types of language to use, how you might be able to think about some of the initial activities by again, clicking on that home page for center leads and business advisors then on the getting started section. And you can see here that I just clicked on developing products and service ideas. And within that page, there's a little bit of text for you to read, but then there's several downloadable documents now, I think uh, some of the most helpful documents for getting started are in that section. So that's really worth a look. I'd suggest having a look at that guidance note and then also about your individual role. Now, students might need prompts and reminders to use YE Online. And, and there's a couple of reasons for that. It's going to be a new system for them, but also we find that, that students are quite comfortable and quite used to just Googling information. Um, one of the, the slight issues with just Googling a particular topic, for example, uh, what is VAT, is that you can get a description of what VAT is very quickly by Googling it. However, what YE Online does is pull together lots of information about VAT and contextualizes it, grounds it into the topic that that these young people are going to be working towards. And so bringing people onto YE Online, bringing your students here will help them to broaden their knowledge both about business and about their roles within the company program. So we found that one particular way to bring students onto YE Online is by business advisors and center leads sending a message to those students, especially at that early point, inviting them to have a look on YE Online and to navigate around and, and just to introduce yourself as well. So to do that, you head on to My Info, click on Messages, then click Send Message, and then you'll see a little drop down menu where all your students will be named. You'll be able to title the email and put in some text within the body of the email. Now, as long as your students have gone into the My Info, My Account section and inputted their email address, they'll receive an email prompt that will have a link that will send them to this part of YE Online to read about that message. If that hasn't happened, then students will only see that message that you've sent when they visit YE Online. So, that's one of the reasons why it's really important to ask students to fill out their email address on the My Account section within My Info. Another really fantastic resource on YE Online is the opportunity to set up meetings and appointments. That can be done by going into the My Info section, clicking on Reminders, then clicking on Events, Add an Event. You can title that event 
you can put the date and the time in and you can put a description in the body of the event uh, the events as i said with with emails are sent to the email addresses of all the individuals that you've highlighted for that to go to and it will be received as an outlook calendar appointment and it will also be sent as a google calendar appointment so what that means is that when you as a business advisor or center lead initially set up an event then that will be sent to you and you'll be able to receive that in a work email or a personal email and set that within your your diary and it will set an important precedent for students to be booking meetings ahead and that's something that that will start as a responsibility of the business advisors and center leads but you'll see will gradually be taken over by students and they will begin to send reminders to you as a business advisor or center lead to come to appointments or come to meetings with them and they'll be able to send these meetings to you via this route my info reminders my event add in event so there is a huge amount to see on YE online and it can be quite daunting to start off with there's a few maps on YE online both within the center lead and business advisor landing page in the my role section there's also another map within the guidance section so you'll be able to see that from your dashboard guidance and then there is a a maps section and the maps look a little like this so there's a top level directory which is in green there and then below that are the topics so you can see that there is a huge amount on here and it's going to take a little while to, to get to grips with where information is held and that's that's an important aspect of, of YE Online is that some of the information that we make available is within certain subject topics. So for example, within the guidance section on getting started, within brainstorming ideas, you'll see that there's downloadable documents within the brainstorming ideas section. But in addition to subject related information you'll be able to find a huge amount of information within the company information section and company documents and we'll look at some of the company documents you'll be able to download in just a moment so I'd really like to reiterate that um, the business advisor and the center lead have a really pivotal role in supporting students to access the information on YE Online and to make it their own and and some really great ways that help to personalize YE Online as the business starts to form and and some of that happens within the company information section so head down to company profile and you or your students will be able to name the company at that stage and should you create a website you'll be able to input that information there as well as a mission statement you'll be able to see the names of all the students that within your your company team you'll be able to edit their roles once they've specified what they're going to be add and remove students and in addition to that you can see these little red columns here and that will tell you whether students have completed their evaluations and I'll talk about those in just a moment it's helpful here if students have forgotten their password that you're able to resend it so students, as they progress within the company program, will begin to take on individual roles. And there's some information here for you about the roles within a company program. And students will have access to all of the same information as well. So I do recommend that as you start to get towards that stage where you're deciding individual roles within a company, that you suggest that students have a little look on why you online and find out about what those roles could be and then to choose what role might suit their particular personality and there's huge amounts on there in terms of uh, videos and uh, specifications about what that role could be and this is a good example so within running the business is a huge selection of videos which relate to each individual role that students could take and it's been broken down into a week by week basis as well so that the tasks that relate to that particular role are given some some context and some meaning in these short videos we, we post some questions and set some activities for students within that field and you can get to that by clicking on the guidance running the business and 
within the managing director in this particular case video vault so I said that documents are available all across YE Online and they're available in, in two forms really they're within a subject topic so I gave you an example of brainstorming ideas within that page you can download documents about brainstorming ideas but in addition to that the company documents section within company information allows you to download some of the most important documents that are universally applicable to all companies and that includes things like the Chartered Institute of Management Accounts and Accountants Financial Director Guide, a really fantastic guide that, that SEMA produced on our behalf. Uh, the legal insurance responsibilities of the company. There's a certificate of incorporation and insurance document on there and that pulls out information from that you've inputted onto YE Online and then adds it to a certificate that you can download and print and that tells you uh, that that's a really handy thing just to, to really clarify that this is a real business and this is really operating within these parameters. So in addition to downloadable documents that you can put uh, take from the company documents section you're also able to upload documents on the same page and the type of things that you might like to see on there are, are things like the meeting minutes the company account section has had some some significant improvements in the 2016-17 academic year so we have added links to the document that explains how to use the account section so when you click on that link then you're able to download the document and get to the very specific section that relates to the topic that you're interested in but for students or advisors who uh, prefer to learn through more visual forms rather than, than reading there's also videos that are linked to each of these individual topics and those videos are all less than five minutes and give a, a, a specific explanation of that particular topic. All you need to do to get to that is to head on to company information, company accounts, hover over the section that you're interested in. So here I was hovering over shares and then this little black box came up with two links in, one for a video and then one to download the company accounts guidance, guidance document and that will automatically load onto your computer when you click on either of those buttons. The competition is, is the, the data that we've got is that students and center leads, educational center leads, really enjoy the competition element of the company program and there's lots of information about how to prepare your company for the competition on YE Online and I think one of the most helpful resources is looking back over previous years at the company program finals short videos that give a snappy introduction to both what's expected of award-winning companies but also about how they found themselves taking this particular route and the products that they created so I'm going to talk just briefly then about self-assessment and participation records there's four things really that you need to know as a business advisor or center lead. One of the first is that center leads are asked to provide a pre and post skills assessment of all of the students they manage. So if a center lead has registered one company with 10 students, then they'll be asked to create both a pre and post assessment of all of those 10 students within the my info self assessments page and there's a window for both the pre and post assessments and the window is open for pre um, uh, up until um, typically from September to around uh, November and then the post typically opens after Christmas and you send prompts both on YA online and by email to tell you that the self assessments window is open for that The second thing that's important to know is that BAs, business advisors, are asked to only complete a post skills assessment for all students they manage, as well as being asked to rate their own development. And again, that happens in the same place within the My Info and Self Assessments section, and equally, reminders are sent 
out at when though that window is open to to complete that post skills assessment and when you're doing that what you're doing is making an overall assessment of all of the students that you're working with now students are asked to rate their own individual confidence level across the eight employability skills that young enterprise have deemed as the most important skills for young people in terms of employability and and this has come from research that's been conducted by Young Enterprise in collaboration with BMI. So students are able to fill out their self-assessments when they first log in to YE Online. There's a prompt that will appear on their dashboard when they when they log in, uh, but they can also access that information by going to My Information and Self-Assessments, and that's probably going to be something that students are going to need a reminder to fill out. And by doing that, filling out a pre and post skills assessment, students are able to see the progress that they've made over the period of time they've been involved in the company program and then measure the distance that they've traveled. So one final thing then in relation to participation records and self-assessments is that BAs are asked to keep a participation record. This participation record is on their, their, uh, their landing page it can also be accessed by pressing the home button. So the participation record is an opportunity to record both the tasks and the number of hours that have been uh, achieved by the business advisor on a weekly basis. You have the opportunity to complete these uh, these details retrospectively. It is possible to, to go back over each week and record the number of hours that have been um, completed but we do try and recommend that to try and keep on top of this on a weekly basis visit way online and just make a uh, it's, it's a very very quick form to fill out just make a record of the number of hours that you've, you've been involved and then the type of things that you've been doing and by doing this we found that that actually the number of hours the amount of time and the range of responsibilities that BAs have have kept over that year of working with students who are on the company program it is incredibly impressive and not only does that help to reflect on, on what's been achieved and, and how much really you've inputted into the program over that period of time but um, it's it's also a helpful resource for, for sharing with with colleagues or employers to to demonstrate just how you've been spending your time with Young Enterprise. So Within that participation record, you'll be asked to, to tick the tasks that you've been involved in. If you can't see um, what you've been doing there, just click on other and then you can put the details in, in a, a text box below. Put the number of hours you've been working in and as I said, you'll be able to print off a certificate at the end of the year showing what you've done. So that's the end of this presentation. All I want to do now is just to show you a little bit about what happens when you log into YE Online. So this is the page where you, you go to log in. It's yeonline.y-e.org.uk. And as I said, your username, which is your, your company number, is is in that top bar there. And then your password, which you, you'll have been asked to change on that first login, goes underneath. Once you log in as a business advisor or center lead, you'll see a section that's slightly different from the view that a student will see. And this is that view. So you see a landing page that allows you to choose which company you're working with. And that's um, if you're only working with one company, you'll only see one company here. For center leads who've registered mul multiple companies, they'll see them all here. A couple of other things on this page is you can see how many evaluations students have completed within your team. And you can see that as the pre and post here. As I said, this is a really important section. It tells you about your role and it gives you an opportunity to find out about the life cycle of the program, what's expected of you, your responsibilities, some really great tips and advice. And you can see that participation record here. So to get into the, the section of YE Online that students will see, you just click on 
view for the company that you're involved in. And on doing that, you'll see the landing page that students will see. And what you can see from that landing page is that menu that we were looking at through that presentation. And you can see here on the timeline as well that a few more activities have been achieved and been added to this timeline. So these little green dots we call milestones. And in this case, um, the, the team signed their memorandum and articles of association. You can find milestones in this little section here. You can read about them. And then if you feel that you've met the specification for that milestone, then you can then add that by ticking on the little cross. And then next time when you log in, you'll see a little green dot linked to that particular time and it will sit on your timeline an opportunity and, and offer you an opportunity to re reflect back on what you've achieved over the life of the program. You can also see in the background there that some red bars and that's where information has been inputted onto the company accounts page. So you can see here that uh, somebody has added stock and so that's why um, the little red bar has appeared because there's been an expenditure of £750 and so we can see that as a little red bar that shows on the, the dashboard. So it's a really handy way of showing money going in and money going out for everybody to view within the company and it's a good opportunity to, to have a visual reference to how well the company is actually doing. So a couple of other things that I think are worth having a look at when you first log into YE Online. As I said, the guidance section holds a huge amount of information and within individual topics, you'll be able to download information that's relevant to that particular field. So uh, I'll give you an example. I'm going into the business planning stage here. And in this section, you can see that there's lots of videos to find out, uh, for example, about how to create a logo and a mission statement. And you can also see, see these illustrations as well. Uh, so there's eight employability skills that are linked to participating in the company program. And this illustration here represents problem solving. And we believe that by coming up with a logo that you are solving a problem. So you can see that We've linked each of the illustrations to specific issues that students might come across. My recommendation is that you just start to explore YE Online. You click through a few buttons and you see what's within each section. And by doing that, you'll start to get a better understanding of just the wide range of resources that are available on YE Online. So we were just looking at business planning there and then I went into company information, company documents and these are the most popular, most universal documents and I clicked on outline business plan. Students will have the same access to this whole section as you do so they can find all of this information as well and I clicked on outline business plan template. It downloaded into the bottom of the screen there and it's about to open. And you can see here that uh, th there's a really fantastic resource here for creating a business plan. So do feedback, any suggestions and ideas, they're always welcome. We're always improving YE Online and best of luck in, in exploring and navigating across the site.